What's up guys, this is iPhones and iPods, and um, in this video I'm going to give you guys some links to uh, the 3.0 Beta 3 firmwares for your any device you're running, obviously iPod or iPod Touch, iPhone or iPod Touch, but um, so for your iPod Touch 2G, 1G, I'm going to give you all the firmware links to the 3.0 Beta 3, and I'm also going to give you a link to the uh, Quick Pwn, the modified Quick Pwn that allows you to jailbreak. Uh, the 3.0 firmware. Obviously, this does not work for second-gen iPod Touch users, but it works for everybody else. And um, I know I didn't. I know I said I'm not, I wasn't going to make a video on this, and I'm not. I'm not going to show you guys how to jailbreak it because I don't think I, I'm really allowed to. I've had multiple people tell I, when I asked that question in the previous video. I had multiple people tell me that people's videos have been take have been getting taken off showing you how to jailbreak the 3.0 Beta 3. So. As you can see, I'm running it too, but um, so I'm not going to show you how to. But if you have any previous knowledge of jailbreaking, it's pretty much the same. It's the same method using Quick Pwn. It's just a modified Quick Pwn. So um, I have, I'll have a link in the description to my other videos on how to jailbreak. But so um, this video, I'm just going to give you links to the uh, firmwares for whatever device you're running and the modified version of Quick Pwn. First off, this only run works on Windows, and um, it obviously, if you are a 3G user and you're not on the 3.0 beta 3 yet, it upgrades your baseband, and it could possibly never allow you to downgrade and use any other network by using Yellow Snow ever again. So I highly, highly, highly recommend you not doing this, like I have. But um, I'm on AT&T, so it does not matter to me. But um, that's just a fair warning. I would not upgrade to the beta if you have if you are um, planning on using something other than AT&T at the moment. So, just a warning for you guys. But like I said, all the links in the description. And um, if you guys don't know much about um, the beta, the beta firmware is the 3.0 beta. This is the beta 3. Obviously, it's the newest one. It has the um, the most fixes. And one of the most prominent fixes that I've noticed is that the YouTube application works. And um, if you guys haven't seen Ty's iPhone Help or want some other videos, you're actually allowed to sign in. As you can see, I'm signed in. And view your subscriptions, uh, most recent videos from your people who, you're, who you are subscribed to. And you're also allowed to see your videos. So for instance, go into my videos gives you a list of all the videos you've made which is pretty interesting and uh, gives you your playlist it gives you a lot more features so um if you are in the market to uh, to upgrade to the 3.0 beta 3 and you're not worried about you're not worried about um, your baseband being upgraded I highly recommend doing it and you also need to uh, get your UDID entered because I'll, I'll explain this in a second because if not, you're not going to be able to to activate your firmware, and so you won't be able to actually run it because when you go into iTunes, it's actually not going to uh, your device isn't going to be you're not going to be able to like restore or uh, put everything back on your iPod until it's verified because only uh, only developer only developers are supposed to have this in the first place. So what you can do is a developer has the ability to enter. Um, let me cancel that. The de a developer has the ability to enter up to a hundred iPhones to be tested with the firmware. So what you can do is, if you have contact with a developer, you can go to. Uh, you can enter. You can ask them to enter their your UDID into their system, which allows you then to activate the firmware onto your device. So the most important thing is getting in, on, in contact with a developer to get the 3.0 firmware. And um, in order to find what, what your UDID is, you actually click on the serial number in iTunes. Just click it once, and it gives you this giant list, and that is your UDID. So if you guys want to even get a hold of this firmware, you have to get your UDID entered into a developer's system and um, that will allow you to, to activate the firmware and I know a lot of developers have like eBay bids going on and stuff so you could check eBay if you're in contact with a developer 
or if you're in contact with a developer, I would highly recommend doing that, or else you won't even be able to get the firmware in the first place. But it has a lot of great um, features, and I know Ty's iPhone Help has a uh, he has a great video of the overview of the 3.0 firmware, and it has a lot of new stuff, which is really interesting, and you guys should enjoy. So, if you are in the market to get it, I would highly recommend you getting it. And uh, like I said, all links in the description. Quick Pwn only works for Windows, only works for Windows, not Mac, like I have. But I do have a uh, Windows computer upstairs, so I do have it jailbroken. And, um, so yeah, it only works for Windows, and, uh, all links in the description to the firmwares. I know since I, I have a 3G, and one of those links did not work for me, the the uh, the SinSpace link, but I'll, I'm going to post it in there anyways, and I'll also post the torrent that I got that allowed me to get it. So I'll post that in the description. So uh, if you guys have any questions on the firmware or any of that stuff, just hit me up with, it, with, a, uh, hit me up with a, a personal message or a comment down below, and I will try to get to you guys. So, uh, there you go. Hey guys, one real quick thing that I forgot to show you guys. I forgot to show you that I even had the jailbroken. And, uh, real quick, this is just for proof this. I'm not showing you guys anything. I wanted to show you guys. It's probably too dark. But, I want to show you that I am indeed on the 3.0 firmware. Right there. As you can see there. And that I do have icy right there and th that leads me to one other last thing you only you only get icy on this you don't get Cydia when you jailbreak the 3.0 beta 3 firmware so that's another thing to take into consideration guys but uh, that's it